Now that we know how to move around in SketchUp, let's go ahead and start drawing some of these basic roof pitches. To begin using one of the first modification tools, which is a push-pull tool, to create this gable roof, we first need to draw a rectangle that's 20 feet by 20 feet. Just going to pan and zoom in a little bit closer. And I set up some guides and just some measurements here just to make it a little bit easier for you if you're following along with the example file. Take the rectangle tool, start in the bottom corner, draw out, and you can either snap on that endpoint or you can just type in 20 feet, comma, 20 feet. Now, once you have your surface there, you can extrude it using the push pull, which is this tool here. P is also the keyboard shortcut for push pull, and it's going to be one of the tools that you most often use in SketchUp. It's very simple to use. As you hover over a surface, you'll see it shade. You simply want to click and release to initiate your push pull, move your cursor up, and then either click or type in the value or height that you want this to be. So I want this to be 12 feet and I press enter. One of the great features of the push-pull tool is that it remembers your last push-pull distance. So we push this up 12 feet. If I hover my cursor over this new face here, a double click will repeat my last push-pull height. So this is great when you're doing a building masking model and you have several maybe city blocks or building blocks that you all want to repeat at the same height. You can just throw down a couple of rectangles, take the push-pull, push-pull one up, Double click to repeat. I'll just undo these to clean up the model space. So I'm just using Command Z or Control Z to undo. You could also remember we set this up up here. You could click undo. Now to finish off this gable roof, I need to create the pitch. And there are several different ways in which you can create the pitch. The first one you may think of is actually using the line tool and drawing the profile similar to what we have further on in the space here. But we're going to do the simple way or the easy way to create that pitch. And that is with the line tool and then the move tool. With the line tool, you want to click from the midpoint and draw on the green axes until you hit the end point. And then you want to take the move tool, which is right here. It's also M as a keyboard shortcut. And you want to move this entire edge. You don't want to move the end point or the far end point. You don't want to move any of these edges because you'll get something like this that happens. You want to move just this line. So just click on that and you want to move it up in the blue axis. You can see that the line, the dotted line here is blue, letting us know that we're in the Z or blue axis. And what I can do here is I can actually either type in the height that I want or I can infer to the height over there. Now to force it to infer, what I want to do is press the up arrow key, mainly because the up arrow key, after you press it, so I just pressed it, that actually locks your cursor in the blue direction. So regardless of where I move my mouse right now, it's going to constrain that line to only move up so that now I can hover my cursor and infer to this height right here, just 10 feet. I can simply click and it sets the model in place. Let's say this roof pitch right here. We want it at a 5-12 ratio. What you want to do first before you draw your line and move it up is you want to use the protractor tool and you want to draw a guide. And this guide is going to create a ratio of 5 to 12 that we can use then to get the angle that we desire. The protractor tool is a three-click process. So the first click, you want to click on the endpoint. The second click is your reference angle or your zero reference angle. In this case, you want to click somewhere on this edge. And then your third click, you can actually snap to these little tick marks on the protractor. It's going to snap every 15 degree increment. Or since we're using a ratio here, I can type in 5 colon 12 and hit enter. And it's going to draw that guide at that angle. Next, we'll just take the line tool, draw from midpoint to midpoint. Now, instead of taking the move tool right away and selecting this line, we need to actually pre select the line. That way, we're selecting at this endpoint because the endpoint of the line is where our guide is. Select the line, then click the move tool, and it's important that we infer from this front point. So I'll click on that, I'll move this up in the blue axis until you feel it snap to that edge. In that case, we have a 512 pitch. 